In this video, I'll show you why fruits are actually great for people with diabetes. And I'm gonna show you the science about why that's the case. Now, this is gonna help you lower your blood glucose or your blood sugar. It'll help you lose weight and it'll help you gain tons of energy. And it'll also dramatically improve your long-term health. Now, make sure you stay until the end because I'm gonna show you exactly what fruits you can eat and why. And I'm gonna show you a guaranteed way to lower your blood sugar starting today. Now, believe it or not, scientists have been studying the effect of fruit on human health for more than 85 years to understand whether fruits are safe for people with diabetes, but also to determine whether eating large quantities of both fruits and vegetables have any negative repercussions. Now, as early as 1930, a doctor named Dr. Rabinowich and his colleagues at the Montreal General Hospital discovered that diets that are high in fat have detrimental effects on insulin sensitivity and that diets low in fat actually improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar. Now, insulin resistance is the root cause of high blood sugar in most people living with all forms of diabetes. And it's a fascinating biological process, and I've actually covered it in great deal in other videos. So please make sure that you watch this one video that has more than 1.5 million views on YouTube, and you can get a really good understanding of exactly what insulin resistance is. Now, back to the 1930s. Dr. Rabinowich and his colleagues observed that patients who were switched from a low-carbohydrate diet to a high-carbohydrate diet containing large quantities of fruits, grains, and beans, reduce their need for insulin rapidly, both with and without calorie restriction. They performed a randomized control trial, otherwise known as an RCT, in patients with type 2 diabetes, and found that a high-carbohydrate diet significantly reduced their insulin needs incredibly quickly. Now, only 20 years later in the 1950s, Dr. Walter Kempner at Duke University demonstrated that high-fat diets not only caused insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, but that patients could begin reversing long-standing diabetic retinopathy, which is eye damage, in a matter of days by eating a diet that's actually very high in fruit. Now, Dr. Kempner invented the rice-fruit diet, in which his patients were allowed to eat white rice, fruit, fruit juice, and added sugar, which are four foods that the present-day diabetes nutrition community condemns almost entirely. Now, the rice-fruit diet was Dr. Kempner's attempt at creating a no-salt, no-cholesterol diet containing rice, fruit, fruit juice, and white table sugar, that he hypothesized would reverse malignant hypertension, which was thought to be incurable at the time. And within approximately eight weeks, he discovered that the majority of his patients had normalized their hypertensive blood pressure predictably. Dr. Kempner went on to discover that the rice fruit diet not only managed, but actually reversed the following conditions. Number one, malignant hypertension. Number two, heart disease. Number three, diabetic retinopathy. And number four, kidney failure. Now, people criticized Walter Kempner because his rice fruit diet led to weight loss. And critics claimed that it wasn't the high fruit diet, it was the weight loss that resulted in an improvement in blood glucose. So then in 1979, Dr. James W. Anderson and his colleague, Kyleen Ward, uh, developed a study in which they enrolled 20 subjects who had been living with type 2 diabetes for more than 20 years to study the effects of diet alone. And they made sure that subjects in their study lost zero pounds. Now, some subjects complained of physical discomfort because they were forced to eat so much food in order to remain weight stable. But the protocol ensured that all subjects did not lose a single pound, which allowed them to study how insulin requirements changed when eating a low-fat diet independent of weight loss. Now, the results of this study were actually remarkable because the insulin requirements plummeted by an average of 58% in the group that ate a low-fat diet whereas insulin requirements did not change in those who were eating the conventional diabetes diet. 10 out of the 20 subjects were able to discontinue taking insulin altogether, and those who discontinued insulin therapy were able to reduce their dosages by between 7 and 98%. The most surprising result was that more than 50% of all subjects were able to discontinue insulin completely after only 16 days on a low-fat diet after having lived with type 2 diabetes for multiple years. So this is groundbreaking research. And they also determined that patients lowered their cholesterol values by more than 29%. Now, most importantly, all patients in the study were able to reduce or discontinue insulin therapy and reduce their cholesterol levels without any changes in their body weight, clearly demonstrating that less dietary fat results in less insulin need. Now, a study published in PLOS Medicine recently tracked the health of more than 512,000 Chinese men and women between the ages of 30 and 79 for an average of seven years. And what they found was that compared to those who did not have diabetes at the beginning of the study, those who ate higher fruit consumption were 12% less likely to develop diabetes. 
And that's very important because amongst those who were also living with diabetes at the beginning of the study, those who ate fruit three times per week reduced their risk of all-cause mortality or premature death from any cause by 17%, compared with the diabetic individuals who ate zero pieces of fruit per day. Now, researchers have uncovered that those who ate fresh fruit three days per week were also 13 to 28% less likely to experience what are called macrovascular complications. These are complications to large blood vessels, as well as microvascular complications to small blood vessels. Now, it's important to understand one thing. Fruits are not the same as sugar. Many people label fruits as sugar and avoid them altogether, thinking that if they eat fruit, that they're gonna increase their blood sugar, their cholesterol, and they're gonna gain weight. Now, whole carbohydrates found in all fruits come prepackaged with water, antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. And that acts as a, as a collection of behind the scenes players that protect against blood glucose spikes and actually increase your insulin sensitivity or reverse insulin resistance. Now it's true that carbohydrates and fruits can certainly increase your blood glucose values, but this problem is greatly exacerbated when your diet already contains a significant amount of dietary fat. And this is the epiphany that most people living with diabetes have when they learn this method. Eating large quantities of fruit and lowering your blood glucose is only possible in a low fat environment, period, end of story. If your diet is high in fat to begin with, then eating fruit is gonna cause your blood glucose to increase rather than decrease. So it is imperative to lower your fat intake first and then earn the ability to eat carbohydrate rich fruits. Now that's right, that means you can eat all fruits as long as your fat intake is below approximately 15% of your total calories and lower your blood glucose and your A1C today and into the future. Now don't worry, controlling your blood glucose can be hard when you're living with any form of diabetes because without the proper information, it can feel like you're swimming in confusion. If you're having difficulty doing this by yourself, then we're here to help. Now we have a coaching program that's helped more than 15,000 people reverse insulin resistance using their food as medicine. And our track record speaks for itself. More than 90% of people who implement our program reduce their fasting blood glucose and post-meal blood glucose. They lose weight and they lower their A1C predictably and reliably. In fact, we're so confident that if our system doesn't actually work, we'll give you every penny back or we'll coach you for free until you do succeed. All you have to do is visit masteringdiabetes.org start to learn more and get started on your path to reversing insulin resistance permanently. And remember, your results are guaranteed. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe and turn on notifications to please the YouTube gods and to get more information into the future. We're gonna be making a ton of new free content for you every single week. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll do our best to get back to you. See you guys in the next video.